Hi, this is Mike, and in this demo, I'm going to look at the Events tab for Java Flight Recorder. So let me go ahead and click on that, and voila, finally we have some data in our Events Type tab. So we have all the various kinds of events that were recorded during our recording. And then over here in our Tab Group, of course, we have a number of tabs showing us detailed information about all those different types of events. We see at the top whether the events were related to the runtime or to the hotspot JVM. And we get counts for both of those and times for both of those. And then here we have the event types um, and a nice pie chart of those. Here you can scroll down a little bit. We can see the various overall kinds of uh, events that took place. And let's look at each one of these um, tabs a little further. So if I click to the log, that's a detailed log of all the events that took place during the recording. So we got lots of stuff in there. And let's say I wanted to search by okay, event type. I wanted to say um, what's something in there that might be, let's say a thread sleep would be a good one. If I type thread sleep, or see, yes. Red sleep. Let's see if that finds it. No, I think it's going to have to be. There we go. And then I have now filtered that um, to only event types that were a thread sleep. So you can see that like so. So that's a good way to filter through this stuff. And of course, I can click on this. And then I've got a nice little attrib event attributes table down below here. And it's showing me um, all the detailed information about that event, when it occurred, how long it was when it ended, stuff like that. So the next gra or tab here is the graph tab. And this is a graph of the events uh, grouped by various categories. So like if we look at the main uh, group of events, then I can see here this is broken up in my application. I can see all the various events that occurred from the main method. So uh, we know event queue, from looking at our other tabs, we know that that was one of the main run threads or classes that was used throughout this application. So you can see here I have a lot of stuff going on. If I mouse over this, I can see what the various events are that took place um, during my recording. And I can look at the same thing here. So I can look at, um, I can scroll over that for the Java request time, memory monitor. So we got a lot of thread sleep stuff going on here. Um, RMI, I can see what I did there. I was doing some waiting. What is this? See what that, oh, that's our socket read right there. Um, and you have some options up here where you can, um, Filter this a little bit, um, show garbage collection, stuff like that. So we can add that in there like so. Um, so anyway, just a lot of detailed information you can find out about your application while it was running. If I click on threads, I can see um, how many events were occurring in various parts of the application. So we can see the event queue once again had the most um, events. And then the various parts, you know, RMI, the screen updater, um, and various things here that um, had the most recorded events during the recording. The stack traces tab, once again, is just showing stack traces. Um, I can see, once again, an account. Once again, I can sort this by time or percentage or count. And then, once again, I can expand the subtree to see exactly what was getting called um, by that particular um, method or yeah method in this case. All right, and then finally histogram here we can look at um, events in various ways. The default here is um, allocation size. I think I'd rather 
look at it by um, class. So I'm a little more familiar with those. And then I'm going to sort that by count. And I can see here that my char class was getting or was getting the most had the most events related to that. Once again, clicking on it, I can get stack traces and see which methods were using char or object, or let's see if I can find an application object here. Um, surface data, there's one. Or rectangle, there's a simpler one, ought rectangle right there. And I can see what was using that uh, in the application. So, uh, that's basically it for the, um, oh, and before I, before I leave this, I almost forgot. So you can uh, drill down into exactly what you want to see with this. So I'm back on the overview tab here. So notice I can actually, you know, now that we have the events type tab populated with the various events, I can then filter based on what I'm interested in. So if I wanted to say the socket reads and then the thread sleeps, I can then pick what's gonna show up in these tabs. And so then my tabs would only be limited to that data I select over here, or I can go up to the top and select everything so that I in fact have more data in here than what we originally started with. So, um, very powerful. There's a lot of neat and interesting stuff you can do with this. Um, but that's it for the um, Java Flight Recorder Events tab group.